Have you ever thought how you could catch a shadow? Let's find out. Right, I'm going to put my key on a plastic tile and shine light on it. You can see the plastic has changed colour and when I remove my key you can see the shadow of my key. That is because the plastic tile is photochromic which means that it's related to light um, and this light induces a colour change of the compounds um, in the material. As you can see on the video on the right, these are UV colour changing beads. So beads that you can use for jewellery and they change colour due to UV light. So what is going on? When we think of light and photochrome materials, we need to think about energy states. So chemical compounds can exist in different energy states. So the lower, they always want to be in a lower energy state. So to go from a low energy state to a high energy state, you've got to put in some energy. And this energy is known as the activation energy. So these UV colour changing beads are a white or colourless plastic with a dye molecule in. At energy state one, this dye molecule is colourless. If we shine UV or ultraviolet light onto the UV beads, this changes the um, structure of the dye molecule slightly, promoting it into energy state two. This reconfigured molecule may also change its colour to blues, pinks, purples, depending on the actual makeup and chemical formula of the dye. This colour change is reversible and the heat in the surrounding environment of the UV beads, such as room temperature, is enough to overcome the small activation energy barrier allowing the dye molecule to go back from energy state two, which is um, coloured, to energy state one, which is white or colourless. So now that we've learnt how these photochromic materials work, what do you think they could be used for? For more information um, about other smart materials, please visit our um, YouTube playlist um, via this QR code or go to um, our website discovermaterials.co.uk to find out more.